many, many, many cities uh, around the world are experiencing water shortage on an annual basis and will at some stage be reverting to uh, desalination. Solinator is a company that focuses on the desalination industry. The desalination industry sadly has a very bad rap. The industry has been traditionally extremely polluting through the use of fossil fuels, carbon dioxide emissions, as well as through the discharge of toxic brine. Brine is the salt solution that is left after the desalination process and many uh, technologies uh, in the desalination industry use a lot of toxic chemicals and they flush these back into the ocean. These two problems are the two problems that the Solonator is trying to solve by first of all creating solar driven desalination that can bring us straight from seawater to something called zero liquid discharge. So no brine going back into the sea, no harmful chemicals, no uh, pollutants, no waste, truly circular desalination. So desalinator uses the basic patent that we came up with seven years ago, eight years ago, which we have progressed. And we have since applied for two additional patents. We use very many existing technologies and off-the-shelf parts to achieve this but it is really the commitment to operating and maintaining the functionality of a desalination plant using only solar power that can be accomplished by buffering energy during the daytime and using it during the nighttime so that we can run a full-time operation and that is really the crux to uh, the desalinated solution solar energy comes to us in two forms. It comes to us in the ultraviolet spectrum part, which means we can convert sunlight into electricity, and the infrared part, which means we can convert sunlight into heat. Interestingly, a thermal desalination plant that works through distillation requires two inputs, electricity and heat. And the sun provides electricity and heat. And the moment that I came up with the idea to use a pipe uh, that contained the steam and heat exchange that steam back in the photovoltaic panel while the water is warming up to preheat the water using the latent energy caught in that steam, that moment uh, was the moment that was the eureka moment and that I said, hey, that might actually be a good idea. So in trying to obtain a truly circular solution to desalination, we wanted to bring together solar energy and thermal desalination to achieve our goals.